Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're the first time on my channel, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Things you talk about, things you shouldn't talk about. Let's just go ahead and get into some things. So let's get into this video today. Guys, I'm not going to do more, any more intro. Let's just hop right on into it, please. So obviously you see the title. This is something a little bit new for me because, well, not new, but y'all know when I reveal a certain type of way about things, I hop on here and I speak about it. And um, this might make me lose some subscribers. This might make me gain more subscribers. I don't know. But... I'm going to be unapologetically me because that's how I am. And y'all know I'm authentic. Y'all, if you have not watched United, the United States versus Billie Holiday, you have to watch it. Phenomenal movie. <laughs> Phenomenal movie. Lee Daniels, hats off. To you, one of the best movies I think I've ever seen. And let me break something down to you guys. It's hard for me to watch movies like that because of the trauma that us as black people have already been through in America sh for years, obviously. And um, it's so hard to watch stuff like that. I still haven't watched 12 Years a Slave. I still haven't watched The Butler because everything, stuff like that. It's so hard for me to watch because it brings back a, a, a sense of, damn, we really went through that. And it brings back a hurt. And I hurt from my ancestors and stuff like that. Y'all, I had no choice but to watch Billie Holiday because obviously this channel is a music a reaction channel. And I absolutely love music. Y'all know I love music. And so I always want to know the history of where we came from as a culture from black people. And, uh, you know, who paved the way for these young ladies that now are singing today. And that's why I had to watch this. And then, obviously, the beautiful, the talented Miss Andre Audra O'Day played Billie Holiday. So that's another reason. And then I heard that Lee Daniels had to force the role upon her because she didn't want it. Because she's like, I'm not an actress. Well, Audra, let me tell you. Okay? Bravo. What a... Uh, uh, um, Absolutely phenomenal performance. I'm about to get teary eyed because I'm about, I, I have so much love for you for enjoying this performance. Absolutely amazing. You guys, I'm not going to give much spoiler alerts, but I will say the movie started off with in 1937, I think it was. I'm not too, too sure. I'm not no, I'm too accurate. You guys can look it up. I'm not no historian. But that's when they finally passed the law to stop lynching people, y'all. They had the graphic a uh, graphic picture of somebody being lynched and then almost damn near burned alive. Y'all, I already almost lost it at the beginning of, of the whole thing, of the movie. It was just eye-opening. Ah, I'm getting teary-eyed. Just eye opening and and scary to be quite frank. If I, because you think automatically, if I was raised back then, or born back then, me not only being black but me being gay, they would have killed me. They would have killed me. And so it just brings awareness into when white people don't believe that white privilege exists and stuff like that. And then you know they get so mad at us certain times when we bring up our history or things that happens to us or the people that were taken out that were supposed to be staples for us. But it just, it's like, it's really eye-opening and, and, and scary because we were marginalized. We were really just, oh my God, they treated us so horribly. And I understand that not all white people are like that. But sometimes we do have to take accountability for our ancestors' actions and teach uh, and, and educate yourself on how to change throughout the years. Because this wasn't but 100 years ago that this stuff happens, if not less than 100 years ago. That movie was so crazy. It showed how the government was after Billie Holiday for her drugs, but it wasn't really about her drugs. It was about her song, Strange Fruit, which sings about the lynching of black people all around. And it's just such a deep song, such a deep title. And it's just amazing. And I remember I was talking to somebody, and I'm the Angelina people, and they're like, oh no, Strange Fruit's not about that. Man, you are white. You cannot tell me what Strange Fruit is about. I know what Strange Fruit is about, and I know why Strange Fruit was such a controversial song. And so it was just so amazing to see that the government, which they still do to this day, 
Let's not get this, like, misconstrued. They still do this to this day. The government will try to find something and get that on you so that they can just lock you up in due time because you're just another black body that can be wasted. You know what I'm saying? You're not a you're a black body that just doesn't have any value. And that's how they were trying to treat Miss Holiday. And it was not I mean, it works for a little bit because and then this is another thing. Jimmy Fletcher, he was a setup. He 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 was really in love with this lady to be honest. And um but the the fear of him failing, the fear of his career, the fear of him not mounting to anything. He sat there and he switched up and snitched on her. And so people don't understand why in our community, why snitches get stitches or no snitches is so prevalent and so just like enforced in our community, in the black community. It's because of stuff like that. Because Jimmy Fletcher snitched on Billie Holiday and got her books for a year and some change. Didn't matter how much he loved her. Didn't matter. His own selfishness and his own well-being was more important than anything. His come up was more important. So when you hear people saying no snitches and stuff like that, it stems from things like that. Because people snitched to Massa and that ended up getting a sister killed. People snitched on Billie Holiday so they can better themselves to get in her a year and, and some chains in jail. It was just so upsetting to see how far the government will go and like i said they still don't get it misconstrued they still do it to this day the government will go so far to book a black person for the minor or very acute charges things that should be small charges and, and they maybe they blow them up but then this white person gets locked up and only gets like a year i'll never forget the story i was reading like, the one kid had like 28 years for a murder charge and the and uh fucking the white kid only had like two years. It was, it's just, it's like ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And so white people, no shade. Go watch Billie Holiday's United States versus uh, Billie Holiday because then you can start to educate yourself from there. Then go watch Harriet Tubman, which was a very good movie. I ended up seeing that. Go watch The Butler and go watch 12 Years a Slave, which I didn't see. And please go watch Django if you want a little bit of comedy in it because Django was everything. But they all stem from the freaking truth. And it's quite just like disturbing when I'm looking at these things because it's just literally, they and they talk about they have yet to still pass the Emmett Till non-lynching law. Why is it so hard to pass these bills? Why is it so hard? And y'all mean to tell me that the Congress men and women and people that are in that Senate and whatnot aren't racist to this day? When we just had the most racist president in the world. And I know I might get basically freaking so tore up with this because I know a lot of people attack me when it comes to the racial thing. <laughs> but the proof is in the pudding. And that's my thing. The proof is in the pudding. And it's just like, we have documentation of us being so mistreated throughout the years that people still ignore the things that have happened to us. I mean, we were lynched in the street, burned alive, killed for no reason. And for me to even think about a time like that, which was only about 60 years ago, 50 years ago, uh, you know what I'm saying? 80 years ago, like, it just makes no sense to me. My mom is only 61. Like, she she was born in that era. You know what I'm saying? And poor Billie Holiday, they, they, she died. Basically, trying, they're trying to say that she overdosed. They found heroin. But the, to be honest, it could have been a setup. They probably weren't taking care of her with the withdrawal and everything like that. And then she was cuffed to the bed, handcuffed to the bed. It was sad. Absolutely sad. I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to lose it, to be honest, because it just. And that's why I don't watch stuff like that because it just really hurts my soul so bad. It hurts my soul so bad because it's just like, ugh, they wanted us gone. The fear of that us as black people instilled in white people back then is just mind-boggling. So they wanted to take people out that were very influential, like Billie Holiday, who was singing the song Strange Fruit. They took out Martin Luther King. They took out the Messiah, the Black Messiah. And they took out um, 
Malcolm X, okay? I used to actually always think that Farrakhan did it, but now just growing up, getting wiser and getting more wisdom, you understand how things were set up and um, they, they, they had to, there's no way. It just scares the shit out of me because at the end of the day, I feel like the government is in favor of this skin, the white skin and not this skin, you know, the, the black people. And it just, it's really so, it's, it's, it's terrifying. It's terrifying. And like I said, this is not an attack on white people. I love all my people. I love all my races. But the proof is in the pudding and you have to pay attention to the facts of what happened. So black people like me tend to be a little bit frightened and quite scared to trust anyone because including our own culture, which is so crazy because of that snitching shit. But it is so hard to trust anyone because of that shit that we've been through, like that movie. That movie was absolutely phenomenal. Aja, my hats off to you. All the actors and actresses that were in that movie, phenomenal, phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Lee Daniels, best director. That was absolutely, absolutely everything, y'all. I gotta get into some more videos, my reactions, back to my reactions. So <sighs> drop in the comments down below what y'all thought about the movie. Drop in the comments down below what y'all thought about the movie. Let's get into conversation. Do you agree with me? Do you not agree with me? Um, let's get into conversation about that. Absolutely phenomenal movie. Billie Holiday, rest in peace. Amazing woman. Thank you for for treading the way and, 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 and stealing a path for these beautiful young ladies to come after you and be jazzy. Even to the Angelina Jordans, a whole white girl from Norway. Like, come on. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, baby. Thank you, Billie Holiday. She, uh, she'll be so proud that she knew what she was doing um, right now in this day and age. But you guys, drop down in the comments below what you think. Remember, spread that positivity, that love, and that light. You know I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.